In this demo video, we will show you how you can use the new resources feature in Script Runner for Jira Server and Data Center. Resources allow you to add connections to databases and use them in your scripts or in any other place. For our first use case, we will show you how to connect an external SQL product database to Jira to automate support tickets. To do this, we'll configure the connection to the database. First of all, navigate to resources. As you can see, we've already configured a database for this demo. So let's see what the configuration looks like. You have to give a pool name, the JBDC URL, which your database administrator can easily provide you with, and then the username and password. Finally, you can use the SQL field to handle your SQL queries and to see the schema of the database. In our case, we have a database called demo and a table we call products. To see what it looks like, click preview. We have three entries for this really simple scenario. Imagine that you are a product seller and in the database, we have each product with the serial number, the buyer email, and the integration with the maintenance coverage for the product, when it starts and when it ends. Now, let's find out how we use our newly connected database in order to automate our customer support. For example, a customer purchased one of your products and now has a problem. So he raises a support ticket. They fill in the details of the problem and the serial number. If they fill in an invalid serial number, they'll get an error message. Once they fill in the correct serial number, the error message disappears. All the customer needs to provide when reporting a product is a serial number. Then they can click to create a ticket. Now, let's switch to see what the support agent is seeing and navigate to the issue. As an agent, I can see the serial number provided by the customer, but I can also get additional information from the database. In this case, what the product is and when does the maintenance end? Our support agent doesn't need to refer to an external database to pull the information he needs about the product, as all the information he needs is in the JIRA ticket. Now, let's see how we use Script Runner to create a connection with the database and the automations we just showed you. To create the error message the customer sees when he puts in the wrong serial number, we use the behaviors feature. Let's see the configuration for it. We made the serial number field required. Then we attached this very simple behavior condition script to that field. So whenever there is an input on the field, the script runs. It reads the value of the serial number in the field and then queries the demo database that we just configured using resources. It looks for an entry in the products table that matches a serial number in the field. If it can't find the serial number, it displays the error message we demonstrated earlier. Once this has been done, we can see how we added the information from the database in the issue for the support agent to see. We use a listener in Script Runner, and this is how we configured it. Once an issue is created, we read the value from the serial number custom field. Then we query our database. As you can see here, we get the entry that corresponds to that serial number. In this script, there are no passwords. We don't open or close a connection to a database. Everything is taken care of in the application. And as long as we have registered the connection to the database using resources, we can use it anywhere in Script Runner to create any number of integrations and automations. To summarize, the client raises a support ticket and provides a valid serial number. Script Runner validates the serial number in order to create the issue ticket, and then it updates the ticket fields with the information pulled from the database. All done using the database connection we created in resources. Mm -hmm.